Right. Welcome to another episode of uh, Elevating Black Art. Um, we're excited today to uh, be joined by a very special guest, but uh, we'll let them introduce themselves with our opening question. Uh, who are you? We are Black Stacks. Good ass. Hello, world. My name is Felicia Lau. Yo, I go by the name of Jace E. Cage. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. For sure. Man, it's a pleasure to have you. Something higher to get rid of all these fires to clear the air to show the care to show the fight I of why we're here. I'm saying I want to live, but what do I have to give? My ribs are these kids, my children. Are we building? No, I'm not no ghost like Casper. I'm more in the spirit of the Jasper. Eight with legacies, realities, brutalities daily. My resilience is in silence. My residency is heaven sent is no In the land of milk and honey is Some chasing, no some chasing money My reflection is no direction My fault is I'm in the vault With no value you on how you never get caught Now I'm floating, hey. now I'm quoting No rhetoric, just routine No butcher, Honey. nothing lean No lawn, nothing green No roots, no scene Check the date and how we relate since 1619. Been planning the great escape. Yeah, we ain't playing no more games. And we calling out the names. We ain't forgetting how they came, what they left, and what they rang. For all the songs that were sang, just to deal with all this pain. From theatrics and schematics, it's just a hint of black magic. So come Let's just get to uh, know a little bit more about Black Stacks and, you know, kind of what makes uh, 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 you both tick a little bit. Um, so what's your art passion? Art passion is being truthful, even if that means telling someone else's story, right? Um, there are some things about art in particular, what we do in terms of the writing, in terms of the singing, in terms of like putting it with a band that is storytelling that doesn't necessarily have to be our own, but it's the truth of what happens in the world, what happens in society, what happens with individuals, what happens in relationships. So I think that our passion, ha I, I know that with how Jason and I work, our art passion has to do with uh, vulnerability and truth. And, um, and how do we speak about that in interviews as such? So I'll say that. Yeah, I, I think that's a great answer. Um, you know, being accountable and responsible, being purposeful, um, you know, not shying away from things that other people may, you know, shy away from, um, loving who we are and what we represent, um, representing the communities we come from, the ancestors that have gone before us, um, and speaking to people in a way that hopefully is rhythmatic, in a way that they can feel it and not just necessarily always understand the wordplay, but can feel the energy, feel the heart, um, feel the creativity. And so I think the art passion overall is just, you know, really being responsible and creative, honoring those that have gone before us, those that will go come after us, uh, setting a tone and being, you know, purposeful in what we say and how we say it and not being scared of the, the end result of it. Yeah, I like that. What are some of the projects that people mm -hmm. might want to know about to get to, to know you guys better? I think the great, the, the, the best way to learn about Black Stacks is to follow the Illustrate series. It's I-L-L hyphen U-S hyphen T-R-A-I-T. The Illustrate of us. Who are we? What do we represent? Um, we have a live edition. Our first edition was done in Los Angeles. We have another edition that we recorded as we traveled on tour. We called it the Illustrate Series. Um, uh, so we did that in Atlanta and New York, uh, not New York, Atlanta yeah. and uh, yeah. Chicago and North Carolina. And then we have another edition that we just did when we went overseas to Europe, Italy and the UK in particular. 
So I think, you know, the best way for people to learn about Black Stacks is to go listen to the catalog. Um, go listen to the music. I think it gives you a very clear uh, explanation of who we are, what we represent, and how we want to bring that to the forefront of music. I think there's an excitement in what's the unknown, where it is that people are coming from in their perspective. Right now, we are in a period where everybody in the world is going through the same thing. Ain't nobody dealing with nothing that's not part of the pandemic in their life, period. Whether it has an impact where they're saying, this is what I'm not going to do. This is what I am going to do. This is who I am going to protect. I don't give a damn. This is what I'm going to do because I want to still live my life. There's nothing that happens in, in, in that term around the world. And I've never experienced anything like that. So the fact that art and how people come, how young people are coming into that and going, my art, my word, um, not just myself, not just an individuality, breaking down the, the art in terms of breaking down the barriers of individuality is really, really um, something that I'm looking for more, more to see. I hear a lot, you know, um, with uh, in terms of like the young people that um, Jace works with just maybe in conversations or little tidbits of like kind of like their um their their commentary on life you know here and there so i because i i don't have a con i don't have um i don't communicate with a lot of young people all the time you know or so so I, but i'm hearing these things about how they're collectively trying to heal um and um and, and people who are my age, an association of like how we're trying to heal in our art and how we're going through the same things and how we're nurturing and helping each other and mm. taking care of one another. And just, you know, and being aware of the fact that we took advantage of how we did not take care of our loved ones, who we love. We're just like, I'll see you tomorrow. It's not true anymore. Mm. So art in itself, making um, art in itself being available for us to say, this is how I'm going to share how we have a conversation. Zoom. God, y'all. Bless him. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Bless him. No, I, I, I think, too, like, really understanding that Black folks are not monolithic. Like, we're not all the same. We don't feel the same things. We don't think the same ways. But I think, you know, through all the travels and the experiences that we had, there is a commonality of the respect of art and authenticity. And I think for, for, for me, you know, wherever we're at in the world, um, you can always find that, that element somewhere in a city or somewhere in a province or somewhere in a, in a county, but you always can find someone that looks like you. And that's been the beauty of the travels is that wherever we go, we find someone that looks like us that's doing some really great things. And I think that that speaks volumes about who we are as creatives, who we are as a people. Um, and, you know, we, we, we honor these experiences. We don't take them for granted. Um, we, we want more of them. Um, and we want to be able to contribute to the communities that we show up in, whether it's in Chicago or whether it's in London or whether it's in Atlanta or whether it's in Seattle. Like, we want to show up in a way that honors the people who are going through the struggles, that honors what they've been doing before we showed up. Like we can't show up at the front of the line, we show up in the line, and then we communicate with those that are standing in line with us to find out what is going on in your world, in your life, and how, how can we parallel that to what is going on in our world, in our life. Like Felicia said, some of the stories that we're able to tell are stories that we're hearing, stories that are being shared with us. Uh, they're not always a, 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 a direct experience, but what they are is that old adage of the oral tradition of sharing the history and her story as we move forward and as we grow and as we build and as we plant seeds for the next generation so that they can have something solid to stand on just like we did. You know, when you bring those stories back, and you have these experiences, you've seen things that work in one community and things that may not work in another. And right. if we're looking at just our immediate surroundings, what we can impact right here when we're home, what do you think some community actions can be or how can we be more involved to make an impact 
um, or to create opportunity within this community that we, that that we're a part of. I think it really starts with um, who are you? What do you really represent? Because you know, a lot of times we get on platforms and we only think about how it helps us, how it helps me, and not how it helps those that are looking for the resources, those that are looking for the contributions, those that are looking for just the connection. Like I think sometimes, particularly in a city like Seattle, you know, we're really clicked up. Like it's a real clickish thing. It doesn't matter um, if we're going through the same struggles or not. It, it's based on who you're rolling with. And I think that can be hurtful in a way of expanding and explaining who we are as a people. Even though we're not monolithic, it doesn't mean that some of the same struggles that you're going through, I'm going through. Um, some of the things that you know I've experienced, I can share with you, right? And so for me, I look at it overall as like, you know, being respectful of the community you're in, but also being honest about the community that you're in. Um, you know, knowing the benefits and the power of coming together and unifying. Not meaning that we all going to understand, uh, not understand, that we all feel the same way. But at the end of the day, what's the outcome? What are we trying to get from this? Are we just trying to get a stage for Black Stacks? Or are we trying to build a stage that can last for 20 years? And then somebody else takes that baton and does the same thing. So I think that, you know, when you're talking about, you know, what is the contribution? What is the responsibility? What is the... I think, you know, it, it's we're at a time now in history where we have to sit down and be very clear, you know, about what it is we want to achieve. Do we only want to achieve for the time? Are we only in the moment? Or are we thinking about future? Mm -hmm. Are we thinking about the past? Are we building something that we can pass along to whoever comes next that looks like us and let them know that they're valued, that they're important, that they have a contribution to make and it's something that the world is waiting for, not just a city, but the world is watching and the world wants to know, hey, what is your contribution? What do you stand in solidarity with? What are you opposed to? So, you know, um, overall, uh, I would say like, you know, coming from the South into Seattle, Washington, the black man growing up, black man with a permanent tan, how does that extend beyond the South end and extend to areas where there's young brothers and sisters that are looking like us, that only want to see the power and the strength and the beauty and the value. And then what is it that we can give and contribute to that to make sure that it is true, real, and 100. Mm -hmm. Impact also has to do with being able to be able to follow. Because your impact as someone that is being supportive is just as strong as the person that you're supporting. Their honesty depends on the, their honesty depends on your your fellowship mm. with how you're going to make sure that you're uh, supportive of them. So with artists or leaders, whatever, you, you know, it, it goes sometimes hand in hand. But those people, but for but for some, being impactful just means that you uh, support. Mm. We move forward in the elements of high low. Let's go. I'm on fire, MC Messiah. I stay higher and strike like a lighter, an igniter and crouch like a fighter. My desire is strictly my desire. I take the handle and scramble. My meditation is clear thought and heavy sedation. Been one of the most solid since Khalid Muhammad. Stay consistent with the message, stay keen with the blessing. Yeah, it's popular to be bold, so I stay out of bold. Stay rogue, stories unfold. So call the imprint, you know, from the top to the bottom. Or on some slick shit like Hillary Rodham. And in a Election that's rigged, so I really am big. Not ready to die, but I'm ready to fly. See tack out the bill stacks with ultimate fact. Crooked angel song bird, it's the red eye. Don't trip, stay true to the gift. Put on a blimp, it's raw and gritty. Polished dirt of the city. Black diamond, built through the hymns and rhyming. And all the time I check my. Can't take no more. 
popularity prize Who can't stop this propaganda Like why is the price of food so high And the quality is lower And still waters don't run deep in Michigan They run by Remember the picture with the tip of the glacier Peeking out from the ocean Now it's turned out to turn We got glaciers big as mountaintops Filling up with veins And black folks are still catching hell, you know You say what? You just say Hell Black folks are still catching hell, you know Oh yeah Are you feeling yourself? Are you feeling yourself? Are you killing yourself? Cause it's high low. Are you killing yourself? Are you feeling yourself? Are you healing yourself? Cause it's high high the question of you uh, uh, both um, what are some barriers that we can uh, try or strive to eliminate to help uh, you know elevate black artists and help them to, to succeed with whatever their passions are mm -hmm. that's a hard one from because uh, uh, barriers because we know how we can talk about where they exist mm -hmm. uh, Barriers being in education, being in housing, being in, health, you know, health, finance. being in uh, finance, economics, being in um, the, the loss, the law system. The law. And, you know, and so those are the first barriers because we will always be artists. That's will never stop. That will never end. Right. Our artistry, just in all of what was just said, comes out in how we teach and how we speak and what we do and our rhythm and how we walk. That's always going to be there. But in terms of those um, uh, uh, breaking down those barriers, mm. maybe it's a, maybe there's an alternative route because sometimes you can't break down something that has been built to people's perspective to say, no matter what, when it comes down to black people, it's the, the, the lowest on, you know, uh, it, it, it's the lowest on, you know, to use a term lightly, the totem pole. And to, to be black is to be other. Mm. So if we're going to be other, then maybe we need to take another route. Mm. So barriers are those that we see and what we want to be included in. Don't be included in a barrier. You be included in what's your next route, right? Mm. So there's, that's some things that I'm, I'm trying to learn myself because um, I don't have the answer. Mm. You know, the barriers are the hardest thing because you see them. How do you ride in your car and do everything that you're responsible for doing? You have your license, you have your insurance, you are being responsible, and then you get murdered. That's not a barrier. Mm. No. That's people that are going against your humanity. And so that, when you're yeah. fighting against something that's fighting your humanity, that you got to go around that. You got to find a way to survive. And I'm speaking, you know, and I'm speaking in a term that's different because I don't know quite how to uh, put it in a way mm. that is uh, that is that is more, more of a clear answer. I just don't know. You know, I think it's a fair answer. I, th I think it's right on the money. I, I, it's exactly what what um, what we're facing. So, yeah, I couldn't have been more clear to me. It makes sense. Okay. It, you know, these, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a bunch of them. Jace, I, I'll ask the same question of you if you had something to contribute on top of that. Well, you know, I, I, I was in a conversation the other night. 
heard this man say that he was bumping his head against the wall. And uh, somebody asked him, why do you keep bumping your head against the wall when there's a door right there? Why don't you just mm. walk through the door? Mm. Like, what's the problem? And I think that we have to understand that we, have, we hold space and place on this planet. Like, we're not victims. And I think that victim kind of mentality stops people from going into the, the, the world of the unknown, uh, going into the places where they're like, oh, well, you know, there's a barrier there, so I'm not going. As opposed to there's a barrier there, but let me see if I'm bumping my head or if there's a door there. And for us, I think that, you know, as, as, as black artists, as a, a black man, a black woman, I think that we have to find those alternatives. I love what Felicia was talking about, about the alternative. Because sometimes the system isn't set up for you. And it's not set up for you to succeed, at least. It might be set up for you to fail. Mm -hmm. It might be set up for you to be incarcerated. It might be set up for mm -hmm. you to die. Mm -hmm. But it's not set up for you to win. It's not set up for you to live. It's not set up for you to build. And I think that we have to find those commonalities amongst those that are willing to be a part of the growth and the building, as opposed to bumping our heads and trying to convince folks mm -hmm. that we deserve a space. I'll just go use the door. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And whether I choose to go in the door or I don't choose to go in the door, it will be based on who's inside. And I think sometimes the barriers are for people, they're protecting people that we don't want to be around in the first place. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, stay over there. Like, yeah, I don't want to come behind that gate. Yeah, I don't want to come through right. that door. I don't want to bust down that wall mm -hmm. because we've learned in time and in space, we've seen the thievery that has happened with our art, with our creativity and how we've contributed but never get credit or how we've contributed and never get access. So I, I believe in the alternative of coming with like minds, those that understand you know, who we are and what we are and what we represent and building from a place of strength as opposed to building from a place of weakness and trying to get those that we're weak with to understand who we are. Let's go ahead and let them see it. And then once they figure it out, they're going to come over there anyway. They're mm. going to be trying to pop in with us anyway. Anyway, you know, what y'all do? Yeah, what y'all do? <laughs> 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 Oh man, um, I, I think uh, this platform uh, that you've helped create, Jace, is uh, uh, one that does exactly what um, you and Lisa are talking about. It, it, it's you know, it's an alternative route. It's it's us taking ownership of of um, our networks, what we have, our our access, and exploiting it to the fullest to give others a voice that may not have it. Uh, your your presence being here elevates that. You know, you you. Uh, you're, you're a well-respected artist in your own right. And so you are what um, I would consider uh, um, uh, a strong contributor in the way that you give, um, uh, you, you know, validate, you know, mm. this, this platform in a way. Uh, when I think about that, I also think about the other contributors that have helped to, you know, London Bridge Studios, um, uh, what, what, what these efforts are on this platform or what art efforts are in our community or, you know, just tr really try to give um, whatever they can to help. I just wanted to say to you, like you're giving credit to everybody else, but I want to make sure you pat yourself on the back. Um, you know, I, I told you this before and I can say this on, on this interview. If it wasn't you that called, I might not have ever answered the phone. And so it's a real thing about connection and relationships and how people treat each other and how they honor and respect each other. And I think that that plays a big role in what you're talking about when you're talking about allies. Are allies trying to come up and speak for us? Are they really hearing us? Or are they speaking and making sure that their voice is out front of those that they say they're here to help? If you're a true ally, you step back and you allow those that are being victimized, those that are being brutalized, those that are being stolen from, allow them to be the, the narrators of the narrative. And you don't come in with your stories, you allow those stories to be a part 
of what the foundation of this whole conversation is. So to me, when we talk about allies, it's not about telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. It's not about telling us what to do. It's about closing your mouth and really listening mm -hmm. to the struggles, to the, the words that are coming out of the mouths of those that you say you're there to support. Because I could say I'm an ally, but then if I show up and everything is about me and I never once turn it over to who it's really about, the residency youth being able to use the platform, youth being able to see in the communities that we come from that there is resources and outlets so that they can share their creativity and share their concerns. If I come in and I dominate that, then I'm not an ally. What I am is a dictator and I'm trying to figure out who I can use. So I mm. think when we talk about allies, the best thing an ally can do for me is close your mouth, listen, and then figure out the resources that you have access to, how that can benefit those that say you're there to support. Right. You know, in this whole process that you never once told me who to go get. You never once told me uh, what to rap about or how to speak on this situation. You asked me a question. I answered the question and you allowed that to be the answer and not try to dictate it or skew it so that somebody feels comfortable in the room or somebody feels like, oh, okay, now I can come in and I can tell them what to do. And I think when you're a real ally, you come in and you say, how, do I, how can I support you in this fight that you become victorious? Mm -hmm. And not how can I support you in this fight so that I look good. Mm -hmm. So a real ally knows when to close their mouth and allow those that are being victimized by the systemic racism, by the systemic injustice, by the social injustice, by the communal injustice, by the financial injustice, by the health injustice, by the housing injustice allow them to be the ones that are telling the story and you stand there and you make sure that those that are listening that you brought into the room are respectful of that mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. the ones that are like, oh, well, hold on, hold no, you hold on. You be quiet and you listen because this is their story, not your story. Um, I think also an ally practices reciprocity. What do what what is it that is at my exposure that I can lend to you? Because what it is that I'm looking for from you, it, whatever value it has, whatever value we can share in it, and so reciprocity is sharing. It's not the usage; it's the sharing. So I think that um, an ally practices in reciprocity. If I know how to uh, construct a building and you know how to build it, that's reciprocity. Mm. Then we have a structure that's solid enough to build home. Mm. Man, that's right on time. I, I, right, both of it. I was about to say preach in the middle of that, but I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right now. Well, we like to introduce ourselves. We go by the name of Black Stacks. Miss Felicia V. Loud. I'm Jace E. Cage. And the sounds you're hearing are by the Stacks and Players. That's right. On the ones and twos and on the basses, DJ Frequency. Yeah, yeah. On the drums, always giving you some. It's my man, G Fields. Yeah, yeah. And we just like to welcome you to an intimate look at Black Stacks. Live at London Bridge Studios. Residency, what up? Hold the town up like a trophy. You get to know me. There's no debate, we hit the scene in 78 Like an old cutlass, yeah I bust this like an old musket A double shot, this the start of the plot I'm alive while I juggernaut That loves to create a buzz It's me and my cuz Where we been and what it was Heavily invested in daily progression When we get to the spot Only chillin' certain sections Yeah, directions elevated Calmly sedated Like a foreign that's highly rated And loves to take off 66 degrees north Slide up by five And never get off I bet you're running to the boss Let me take you to the river Find it getting bigger Watch the waves as they constantly reveal it See the truth from the optical illusion The spheres Like it's never ended It's before My legacy is that this 
no jealousy Come in on. the poor family tree We only grow the roots to tell the truth Even footprints in these sentence The difference is in comprehension The tension I feel cause life is zeal Yeah I deal like emotions Devotion to the liturgy is my spirit Yeah I'm only here to give it Take something away Just a quick story to the world from SCA To the world from FCA Time so deep my concentration will stop if I had a wish, I wish I could cast away So now I'm going to let me take you to the river Dip your toe in and find it getting bigger Watch the waves as they constantly reveal it See the truth from the ethical illusion Then we'll beat my consolation with a starfish And if I had a wish, I wish I could cast away See on the ones and twos in the bass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where we at? Where right we at? Here. Born by the river. Uh -huh. In a little tan. Yeah. Oh, just like the river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long, long time coming. Once again, we are Black Stacks, S T A X, BlackStacksMusic.com. Listen to the sounds of Miss Felicia Loud, J C Cage, G Fields, and DJ Frequency. Oh, yes, it will. We want to thank you, London Bridge Studios. Stay You know, at the end of the day, what do we want and how do we want it to come? Do we want it any old kind of way or do we want it a specific way? Do we want it a way that's responsible and, and acceptable of all of your actions? Do we want it in a way where you can throw it off and blame and play victim? Or do we want it in a way that strength shows and strength is the, the leading um, way of how we travel along this world because we're still on this road and like felicia said earlier like we don't have all the answers but we're willing to share our experiences and those answers that come from those experiences and however and and what people have done before us that they've shared with us so that we can make sure that there is a continuation of lineage and legacy and we make sure that we are a part of that purposefully and don't run away from it. You know, a lot of times, you know, people say, I don't want to preach to you. You know, I don't want to be the one that says this, but who's going to be the person that says it if everybody takes on that mentality? Mm -hmm. Somebody got to preach to you. Somebody got to share those experiences right. with you. Somebody got to be held accountable and responsible. And if that falls on us, as, as they say in, in the old tradition, our shoulders are strong enough to carry it. And if, if not, then God bless us and may the contributions that we've been blessed to make 
um, continue to be impactful, uh, inspirational, motivational, uh, subjective, uh, objective, uh, be critical of us, um, but at the same time, understand the essence of what we want to create, which is a continuation of the craft, of the art, of the legacy, and of the building of Black people. Man, well said. Thank you so much. Black Stacks, everybody. Uh, check this out. Right now. Yeah, be <laughs> Have a good day, buddy. Stay Love stacked. you guys. Thank you so much. Love you back. Love you black, as we say, my brother. Love you black. Take care. Peace.